Curly Hair Q&A, this is your question of the day. I'm your host, Ken Nichols, and I'm here with Melanie Nichols. She is the founder of the Raw Hair Organic Salon in beautiful Naples, Florida. It's one of the top curly hair salons in the country, and Melanie is one of the top curl experts anywhere in the world. She is also the founder of the Raw Curls brand of natural and organic curly hair products. Melanie, I'm really trying hard to embrace my curls. My biggest problem is frizz. And what do I do overnight when I want my curls to stay nice? Also, I struggle with lower layers on my hair being straighter than on the top. Do you have any suggestions? Sounds like she's got three things going on there. Yeah. She's got frizz is one problem. And she wants to know what she can do overnight to keep her curls nice and frizz free. And uh, and she struggles with uh, layers on, the, on, the, uh, on her lower layers being straighter than the ones on the top. Any uh, any thoughts on that? Well, I'll address that first. We'll work backwards. So having straighter pieces underneath is a common problem, and I have that same issue with my own hair. And that's where the curly cut comes in. So you would definitely benefit from having a curly cut where they're doing it dry. Um, this one would be important. There's there's times where you know people have learned that I do dry cutting and I do wet cutting, and when I teach a class, I explain when to do what. And this is a perfect scenario where it is very important that this hair is cut dry because you want to see exactly where the hair is lying when you're cutting it because there's different um, you know patterns, so it's straighter underneath, and you don't want that hanging you know. On, uh, outside of the rest of the curls or from underneath. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So um, a curly cut would be what I would suggest for that. By a curl specialist. Yep, by a curl specialist. And then what was the next thing? The frizz. Uh, frizz. Biggest problem. Frizz, especially overnight. She wants to know how she can keep her hair or curls frizz free the next morning for second day. Okay. Well, sleeping on the hair, you're not, you know, you are going to get frizz. You're going to, you know, rough in the hair as you're sleeping. We try as best as we can to, put, you know, pine up all the hair, put it up. Um, I even put mine in a loose bun because it's longer, so I can't exactly do a, a pineapple. Um, so I pin it up on the top of my head um, or a loose braid or something, you know, I find is best somehow to contain that hair, whether you do a twist and clip it on the top of your head somehow. If the hair is not long enough, then you have a different situation. So, um, you know, we always recommend the, the pillowcase, which has been, we've had, we just had a huge testimony. I don't know if that got posted yet. I don't know. I didn't see anything. Um, Terry did a video on one of the clients that came into it's the salon. One of salon. our stylists at the salon. Yeah. One of our stylists at the salon did a video of a testimony for two clients. It's mom and daughter that bought the pillowcase that we sell. And that's what it's called, the pillowcase. Um, it's a professional line of, you know, a step up from just the satin or, you know, silk pillowcases. It was made by a plastic surgeon. And it has a special fabric that is super gentle so it doesn't um, disturb the the skin um, you know because he's doing plastic surgery so it's it doesn't disturb the hair or even the eyelashes if you wear eyelash extensions so the testimony was uh, that it is working fabulously they came back and actually bought two more because it keeps the curls looking great it doesn't cause you know the frizz that they were getting previously because there's not that friction on the hair they stay cool all night so um, everyone who's bought them from us is giving rave reviews for sure. Um, but if you can't afford those, then there is the silk or the satin or the caps or a turban, you know, some kind of wrap to try to keep the hair protected mm -hmm. while you sleep. And then, of course, refresh in the morning. So I literally, you know, I had a client uh, last week, a new client that came in for her first curly cut. And she was asking about the refreshing. And I was on my fourth day hair. So... Usually by the fourth day, uh, I have it either braided or in a bun. And so I I said, you know what? It's the end of the night. I don't care. And I'm going to wash tomorrow anyway. But I said, I'll, I'll actually show you. So I took my hair down for my braid. I spritzed my Raw Curls anti-frizz product in it to refresh to show her how much. I'm actually like, um, you know, really moistening the hair. It It's not soaked, but it, it feels moistened for sure. And then, you know, just shaking and reshaping the curls. And she, I mean, I could have went out, you know, just like that, you know, within minutes, you know, my curls look great. Mm -hmm. So 
Okay. That's what I would recommend. It doesn't have to be our product, but whatever, you know, spray, leave-in, conditioner, curl refresher will work great for that. Perfect. And then is that it? I think that's it. I think we got them all. Okay. Great. If you have a question that you would like Melanie or I to answer in a future show, feel free to leave it in the comment section below wherever you're consuming this content, and we'll see you again tomorrow.